there is no good or bad or right or wrong way of experiencing Buddha. It's just, just experience. Enjoy whatever you experience. Enjoy if it's uncomfortableness, you can enjoy uncomfortableness. Sadness or fear. Our society has so much dogma about feelings. Everybody's supposed to be just happy and joyful or just not feel anything. But without feeling, and without noticing what you're feeling and actually confronting and dealing with it, it's almost like not really living. Buto is Japanese contemporary performance art form that started in late 50s. French surrealism was coming to Japan, there was Dadaism, and all these contemporary art was coming into Japan. When Buto first started, it was more of an anti-traditional and anti-establishment movement. They were trying to create different way of approaching the body and approaching movement. The buto in itself doesn't have its own form or technique per se. Buto is more of a, like aesthetics. Western dance resonates with strength of human body, and buto actually resonates with weakness of body. In the early 60s, there was a big problem with the mercury poisoning in Japan. Mercury poisoning actually make your joint and body kind of shrinks and then basically kind of become like this. And Buto kind of captured that kind of a movement. Buto performance can be very, very slow, controlled movement twisted facial expressions. It's almost like a people watching it is just going into a hypnosis or fall asleep, whichever <laughs> comes first. <laughs> I was born in a little town called Rokugo. When I was nine years old, I saw West Side Story on TV and I decided I want to be a dancer. When I graduated University of Minnesota, I started working for Ragamala Music and Dance Theater. Bharatanatyam, the South Indian classical dance, is very strict. All the shapes of body, where the finger is, the angle, everything has to be perfect. I just start wondering, who decides what looks good? Maybe each person have their own movement in their body. And what's wrong with that? Sabadi Buto was developed by my teacher, Rizon Lee. Sabadi means subconscious body. I went to study with Rizon Lee in 2007. From 10 to 5 every day, 5 days a week, all I had to do was dance buto. That's it. That was amazing. And when I came back, I just felt completely disconnected. So I had to do something. So that's kind of how I started teaching. Feel how the feel. In Sabadi Buto, we actually go into our subconscious and let the movement come to surface. So it's very free. Like each Bhutto practitioner has their own way of approaching Bhutto. 
So the, each person's body is different. Even there is the same kind of a, you know, instruction or stimulus, everybody's movement is different. I think when you practice Sabbadi Buto, you really get in touch with the things inside, but at the same time, you get in touch with everything outside. And you learn everything is connected. Everything is resonating. In physics as well, everything is energy. It's just how the energy organize or reorganize different resonance patterns. And that's what makes us us, what makes light, or air, or everything else. When we are connecting in that level, our perception about what we are and what others, the sense of separation disappears. You actually feel more compassion. You feel more connected. 